Yo, what's up boys, Gary Vander here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to become a god fragger. But before we get into the video, the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you would, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much, and if you would check me out on Twitch, it's at Gary Vander. I stream every day in the afternoon. Let's get right back into the video. Just to show you guys that I'm not a noob at Fortnite, and I know a little bit about comp, I will show you my Fortnite tracker. Here you go. Alright, so like I said in the last video, there are three roles that make up a trio. There's the IGL, in-game leader, which I made a video about last week, if you want to check that out. It should be in the top right. The fragger, which I'll be talking about today, and support player. I'm a support player for my trio, but this knowledge is good to know for anyone who is looking to improve their Fortnite comp knowledge. In my opinion, if you know your teammates' roles, then you will be able to fill in the empty roles that your teammates don't fill, making the trio overall more productive. If you guys don't know what the fragger does, it is pretty simple. The fragger is the person who typically looks for kills during the endgame so that the team doesn't run out of ammo, mats, etc. The first tip for any fragger is to always be aware of the teams around you and look for weak points in the team. To become a good fragger, you need to be looking for fights with people that you know your team can win against. The reason why this is so important is because during endgame, you will at some point need kills to get the mat refresh. And if your fragger isn't looking for kills or isn't aware of the people around him, then you and your team will probably end up running out of mats. The trio should always be ready to focus that person with the fragger because if they get that first kill, then it's a 3v2 and realistically your team should win from there. When your trio is tarping, the fragger must get kills and refreshes so that the trio has enough mats to win the game and the best position for a fragger is back tarp. If you sit back tarp, you are more likely to catch people back zone who are struggling to get in the circle. Since the fragger sits back tarp, it is their job to block off the back of the tarp. Most people overlook this tip, but it is very important because most teams feel safe in their tarps, but if an enemy team comes in the tarp and shoots you from behind, your team will most likely die. It is crucial for you to block the back off because you never know when someone can come behind and wipe your whole trio. It happens more than you think. Although the fragger's job is to kill people during endgame, it doesn't hurt to look for rotations or help the IGL out. Always make suggestions to your trio, you never know, it might win you the game, or it might lose you the game. But either way, you can learn from the situation. Don't be afraid to do things outside of your normal role, like if the designated tarper is healing, someone needs to tarp. So do it, get ahead of zone and stay aware of the people around you. The last tip and probably the most important tip is how to play smart but aggressive. This will take experience, but most fraggers just want to hop in boxes and frag out during endgames. That is not beneficial to the team. Most of the time, you'll just die trying. I suggest you play with the team and have your team help you fight some of the kills. For example, say you box an enemy, you need your team so that they can kill that player immediately without anyone dying and get the loot from that kill. The reason why I say this is hard to learn is because the fragger needs to stay alive while getting refreshes for the team. Refreshes won't do the team any good if the fragger isn't alive. Anyways guys, I hope you learned something from the video, and if you have, please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you are new. The next video will probably be how to be a good support player. If you have any video ideas or constructive criticism, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and use code GamerBanner. Peace.